That news was brought to you by the Norton Eagles Auxiliary in Erie. At the Norton Eagles, their social room hours are Monday through Friday from 5 p.m. to close, where you can enjoy pizza or nachos. The dining room is open Monday through Thursday from 5.30 to 9, where they do have specials. We haven't gotten those specials yet, but you can check them out on the Eagles Facebook page. And we want to remind you that every Sunday, you can play bingo at the Norton Eagles at 6 o'clock, where the auxiliary provides a lunch stand with hot and cold sandwiches, soups, soppy joes, and always a great selection of homemade desserts. And all profits from the lunch stand are given to the auxiliary charity fund. The spring... The Norton Eagles Abracadaver will be held on March 9th. The dinner will be at 6.30 p.m. and the show will be at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are available at the Eagles Club. The dinner will con- be comprised of prime rib dinner with side salad, baked potato, vegetable, and dessert. The ticket prices for the dinner only are $30. For the theater only, $10. And if you combine the dinner and theater, it's $35. Once again, that is March 9th. Dinner is at 6.30, and the show is at 7.30 at the Norton Eagles. And then the following weekend, the Spring Fling Craft and Vendor Fair will be from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., Saturday, March 16th. There's also going to be a very special visit from the Easter Bunny from 10 to 12 p.m., and they'll have a lunch stand. That'll take place at 16614 Eagles Road right here in Norton, the Spring Fling Craft and Vendor Fair from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., Saturday, March 16th. You can stop in and visit the Eagles, and at the Norton Eagles, it's people helping people. Your KQNK weather forecast is being brought to you by the Norton Correctional Facility. Your forecast for today, there's a 20% chance of snow showers after 5 p.m. Otherwise, it's going to be mostly sunny with the temperature rising to near 47 by noon and then falling to around 34 during the remainder of the day. Should be windy today with the west wind of 10 to 20 miles per hour becoming north 20 to 30 miles per hour in the afternoon and the winds could gust as high as 45 miles per hour. For tonight, there's a 20% chance of snow showers before 9 p.m. It should be cloudy during the early evening then gradually clearing with the low around 15 and blustery with a north wind of 15 to 25 miles per hour decreasing to 5 to 15 miles per hour after midnight. And the winds could gust as high as 35 miles per hour. On Wednesday, it should be sunny with the high near 51 and a southwest wind of 5 to 10 miles per hour. And on Wednesday night, should be clear with the low around 29. I'll be back with the rest of your forecast in just a moment. Norton Correctional Facility is looking for hardworking, dependable employees that want to help transform lives. They have correction officers positions available starting with a wage of twenty thirteen an hour and the potential to earn an additional six dollars an hour pay differential. That's twenty six thirteen an hour on day one. They also offer excellent benefits and promotional opportunities. With over thirty one departments, NCF has several other opportunities as well. If you want to find meaningful work with excellent pay and benefits, check out the website at ncfcareer.net. That's ncfcareer.net. Continuing with your weather forecast, on Thursday it should be sunny with a high near 61 and breezy with wind gusts as high as 35 miles per hour. On Friday it should be sunny with a high near 71. On Saturday sunny with a high near 76. On Sunday it should be sunny with a high near 72 and breezy. And on Monday there's a 20% chance of snow showers. Otherwise it'll be partly sunny with a high near 49 and breezy. Currently, with fair skies, it is 45 degrees. The humidity is 44%. The wind speed is north at 10 miles per hour. The barometric pressure is 29.41. The dew point is 24 degrees. And the current wind chill is 40 degrees. It is 9.07. Going to take a quick break. And when I come back, we're gonna, I'm going to have your trivia. In today's world, there are so many questions asked on a daily basis concerning your health. What supplements should I be taking? Will this be covered by my insurance? Can I take these medications together? One thing you don't have to question is Moffitt Drug, your hometown pharmacy's commitment to your health. Their friendly and knowledgeable staff are always there to answer any questions you may have concerning your health care needs. Let Moffitt Drug take care of you and provide the personal care service they are known for in our Norton community. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Tuesday, February 27th party line. I am Natalie. Mandy is not here again today, but she'll be back tomorrow. 
Um, in the meantime, I want to do a wrap up on the Blue Jay basketball game last night. The boys won 50 to 40 against Cimarron. So that means that they're going to be moving on in the sub state tournament. They'll be playing against Lakin on Thursday. We don't have a time yet. As soon as we get that time, we will post it on Facebook and you can also check it out on the Blue Jay Athletics page. They've been doing really good about keeping everybody up on what the schedule is. Now, tonight will be the girls. They'll be playing at 6 p.m. against Southwest Heights. And you can listen to all that action right here on KQ&K, AM and FM. You can watch on the Facebook. Uh, the Blue Jay Athletics Facebook page, uh, seeing that this is a sub-state game. Um, KQ&K cannot carry the Facebook Live, but Blue Jay Athletics is. So you can either watch on Facebook Live. You can go down and uh, root on the team in person. The more people there cheering them on, the better. And you can also listen on KQ&K, AM and FM. You know, you can listen to Jeff Porter and Brexton Eisenhagen call all the shots. I listened to him last night. They really are very entertaining. And uh, so keep it up. It was a great game. And congratulations to the Blue Jay boys beating Cimarron 50 to 40 last night, moving on on Thursday to play against Lakin. I believe they traveled to Holcomb for that game. So that will not be a home game. So if you want to see another home game, you better go tonight and watch the girls. Six o'clock tonight, they will be playing against Southwest Heights. I want to let everybody know, too, that K-State beat West Virginia last night in overtime. The score was 94-90. to So congratulations to K-State. Um, let's see, my little notes. Here. Anything else I want to go over before I do trivia? Nope, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, so don't forget, listen tonight, KQ&K, AM and FM. Now it's time for trivia. Trivia is being brought to you by Norton Pizza Hut. Hey, if you are planning on going to the game or if you're going to be sitting at home and you're going to be listening to the game on KQ&K, call our Norton Pizza Hut at 785-877-3359 and get your order made for you. Your dinner, you don't have to do any work, no dishes or nothing, no interruptions on listening to all the action of the game. Call them at 785-877-3359. You can order online. You can download the pizza that app and it's a free download from your apple app store or your google play store so why not download it you can also dine in at our norton pizza hut family friends and great food right here in norton but if you want them to bring you your dinner before the game or during the game that's okay because they deliver from open to close from our norton pizza hut and we thank them for their sponsorship if you've won a certificate from for trivia in the last 30 days you can't win again you have to give someone else a chance to win if you've won a certificate of any kind from kq and k you do need to pick that up before 30 days from the day that you win or it will expire but once you pick it up you do still have a week to use it be the first caller at 785-877-3378 with the correct answer to the trivia and you will be the winner of a one topping personal pan pizza from our norton pizza hut okay so today is retro day right up my alley um if i'd known ahead of time i could probably have tons of clothes in my closet i could have even dressed up but today is retro day so i'm going to go back a little bit to the 1960s and ask you a question 785-877-3378 be that first caller with the correct answer you will be the winner of a one topping personal pan pizza from our norton pizza hut So the Four Seasons was one of the top groups of the early 1960s with four U.S. chart toppers. I want to know who was the group's lead singer. The Four Seasons was one of the top groups of the early 1960s with four U.S. chart toppers. I want to know, I want to know who was the group's lead singer. Be the first caller with the correct answer, 785-877-3378. You will win that one topping personal pan pizza from our Norton Pizza Hut. While I wait on an answer, I'm going to go ahead and break for the open market report. That's being brought to you by High Plains Farm Credit with offices in Phillipsburg and in Hayes. The Four Seasons was one of the top groups of the early 1960s with four U.S. chart toppers. Who was the group's lead singer? Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. Are you calling with an answer to trivia? Yes. Okay, and who is this? Barb. Barb, what is your answer? Frankie Valley. That is correct. Barb, what's your last name? Brooks. Barb Brooks. Excellent job, Barb. You just won yourself a one-topping personal pan pizza from our Norton Pizza Hut. You can pick that certificate up here at KQ&K. Thank you. Thanks, Barb. Bye-bye. So it was Frankie Valley. 
So Frankie Valli began his recording career in 1953, and by the early 60s, he was the Four Seasons uh, starting by, he was with the Four Seasons starting by performing backing vocal sessions. In 1962, before the group had a hit on their own right, they worked with producer Bob Crew. And the group's first U.S. chart topper was Sherry, and this was followed by the classic tracks Big Girls Don't Cry, Walk Like a Man, and Rag Doll. Frankie Valli, who came to fame in 1962 as the lead singer of the Four Seasons, has scored a series of smash hit singles and achieved legendary status, along with induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and he was also the subject of the highly successful Tony-winning musical Jersey Boys. Barb Brooks got that answer right. And because of that, she's going to get that one topping personal pan pizza from our Norton Pizza Hut. All right, let's go to our open market report brought to you by High Plains Farm Credit. Young, beginning, and small farmers and ranchers face unique challenges in the ag business. That's why High Plains Farm Credit offers them an extra hand. This is Taylor Redinger of High Plains Farm Credit in Phillipsburg. We have special lending programs for young, beginning, and small producers and provide our years of expertise in financial management to help your operation succeed. Call me, Taylor, at 785-543-6535. High Plains Farm Credit. Together we grow. Kansas Agriculture Network Markets. Good morning, everyone. I'm Greg Akagi. First off, Chicago Mercantile Exchange fed cattle up 27 at 186 even. April up 7 at 188.17. March feeders up 7 at 253.12. And April up 45 at 259.35. April lean hogs up 27 points at 86.50. And June is up 32 at 117. As far as trade is concerned, not anticipating any activity as far as the feedlots are concerned. Of course, we had the higher box beef trade yesterday as well, so that is helping out in the market. Now over to the grains. Definite turnaround Tuesday. Kansas City wheat March up five and a quarter at 589. July up five and a half at 572. In Chicago, March wheat up four, 581 and a half. July up four and a half at five eighty one and a quarter. March corn up one and a half, four oh eight and a half. December up two and a quarter at four fifty nine and a quarter. March soybeans up fourteen and a half at eleven fifty and a half. And November up thirteen and a quarter at eleven forty three. Most of the overnight trade was higher this morning, coming off of the day size, but a good strong start to the market overall. And as far as Wall Street is concerned, it's a mixed opening this morning. The Dow currently down 76 points at 38,993.14. NASDAQ is up 50 and a half points at 16,026.84. S&P 500 up a little over three points. You're listening to the Kansas Agriculture Network. Now you have that calf delivered, but the heifer has little colostrum, and the calf is none too vigorous. It's time to utilize bovine colostrum replacer, available at Valley Vet Supply. Valley Vet has the high-quality brands fortified with large amounts of bovine IgG antibodies. Options include high-calorie formulation to cope with severe cold weather conditions. Don't let time run out on this calf. Keep a package of colostrum replacer handy. Enjoy Valley Vet's free shipping and quantity price breaks. At ValleyVet.com, you'll find your every animal need. Valley Vet knows no zip codes and will get meds and more delivered to your door for all of the animals in your house or barn. Visit ValleyVet.com, your one-stop shop for meds and more, or shop their store in Marysville. ValleyVet.com, ValleyVet.com, ValleyVet Supply. That open market report was brought to you by the High Plains Farm Credit with offices in Phillipsburg and Hayes. You can call toll-free at 1-800-815-8593 for High Plains Farm Credit. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Tuesday, February 27th party line. I am Natalie Solo this morning. Mandy will be back tomorrow, so I'm really looking forward to that. 
I feel kind of sorry for her because when she's gone for a couple days in a row, when she comes in in the mornings, I am just little Miss Chatty Kathy. I have so many things I have waiting to tell her, so she needs to know that. Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. Good morning, beautiful lady. Good morning, Jean. How are you? Fine. How are you? Oh. How's my Adley? Oh, everybody's doing great. Okay. I have one person. Okay. Ray Dreyer. Ray, what's the last name? Dreyer. Dreyer. Okay. Yeah. And I want to say good luck Lady Jade tonight, too. All right. I kind of figured that was coming. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Jean. You have a great day. Yeah. No, I'm here now. Oh, my. Well, they're, they're talking about maybe that might happen here, too. So you can keep it. No, I don't want it anymore. You can keep it. <laughs> oh, well, Foxy can keep it, right? There, that, you that, there you go. All right. Well, thanks so much, Jean. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay in, stay warm, and keep Bye. listening. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. That's how you do it. Um, let's see. That's what I was just going to get to. First of all, I was going to thank everybody for tuning in to KQ&K AM and FM and also for watching on Facebook Live this morning. Um, again, Mandy will be back tomorrow. I'm on my own today, so that does change a few things. One is the show might go a little bit quicker because I'm by myself and um, I don't have anybody to feed off of. So uh, it's just me talking to myself, which I do quite well. But I will try to keep it at a minimum for you all. And also, uh, our office will be closing at 11 today um, because I will have to do some recordings. And so we will have to close at 11. I'll be back at 3.30, though, at the normal time. But we will close a little bit earlier today, this morning, because of the fact that um, I do need to do some recordings. I also want to let everybody know about the weather today. So the weather is just, just crazy today. Our high is supposed to be 47, but that's by noon. And then after that, we're just going to go down. And they're even talking about maybe a little bit of snow, just a 20% chance, but something you'd be prepared for, right? Especially tonight, if it's supposed to snow tonight, because you may wake up in the morning to a surprise and can't say I didn't tell you. But it is supposed to be crazy the next couple days. Um, Wednesday, it's supposed to get back up to 51, and then we're going to start warming up again. So that's nice. It's something to look forward to. But today, tonight, and uh, maybe tomorrow, uh, it's going to be kind of crazy weather. So just be prepared for it. If you need to do any traveling, you know the drill. Check in the road conditions before you get out on the road because maybe we didn't get any snow. But the way it looks, I mean, our neighbors could get snow, and that happens all the time. And also, I want to give people a warning about the wind. We are expected high winds today, up to 45 mile per hour gusts. And that means you need to be extra careful, cautious about um, any kind of open flames, any kind of sparks, um, anything like that that can start a fire. It doesn't take much of a spark to start a fire because even though we've had some moisture, it's still kind of dry out there. You got to be really, really careful. So be very careful. Don't be throwing cigarette butts out of cigarette out of a window or outside ever but especially on these windy days and um just be very conscious of the fact that um, we are in uh high fire weather at this time of year so be very careful and like i said if you need to get out on the roads tonight or tomorrow morning um, i would suggest going to can drive and checking the road conditions before you do that just to be on the safe side all right, well, let's get started. Um, I welcome everybody to KQ&K's Party Line. I want to get phone calls from you. If you know anybody that's having a birthday, please give me a call, 785-877-3378. I'll get them on their birthday list. And then at the end of the show, I'm going to draw for one of these birthday people to receive one of those great, big, delicious cookies. Every time I see them, one of those great, big, delicious cookies from Destination Kitchen. That's also provided by United Northwest Federal Credit Union. Um, if you know anybody that's having an anniversary anytime this week, give us a call because on Friday at the end of the show, we are going to draw for one of those anniversary couples to receive a gift certificate from Garden Gate, etc. And that's also provided by Click Your Hills Travel. And you need to stop in at Garden Gate, etc. If you are having an anniversary or you know somebody that is, find the perfect gift at Garden Gate, etc. And a really perfect gift would be a house plant. And they have some beautiful plants. Go and check those out today at Garden Gate, etc. on Highway 36. And also from Click Your Hills Travel. I'll tell you a little bit about Click Your Hills Travel in just a moment. Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. I'm doing a birthday. Awesome. Whose birthday? I want a West Sage. Dapper have a birthday. And Finley, Barnstill, and Cole Pearson have a birthday today. Okay, wait one second. I got uh, Finley, Fawned still. Yeah. Okay. And then what was the last name of Sage? Sage Stapp. 
Stapp, okay. And then what was the third person? I'm sorry. Um, Cole Pearson. Cole Pearson. Pearson. Okay. Megan's little brother. Cole Pearson. Okay, I got it. I'm sorry. I'm just not. The, I'm, I'm just so slow. <laughs> All right. So we've got Sage Stapp, Finley uh-huh. Thonensteel, and Cole Pearson. Yes. Awesome. All right. Well, thank Thanks. you for the call. All right. Bye. 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 All right. Just be patient with me. I'm. <laughs> I'm just not good at the writing fast and talking and. Used to be a good multitasker, but that that's kind of waning a little bit. But anyway, so happy birthday to all those. I've got some birthdays I'm going to let you know that were called in before we got on the air in just a moment. But I want to tell you about Click Your Hills Travel. You can call Click Your Hills Travel today at 785 871 4109. And remember, it doesn't matter how you want to travel. You want to travel on planes, trains, automobiles, take a cruise. Click Your Heels Travel has you covered. Call them today at 785-871-4109. If you have anything to buy, sell, trade, give away, if you've lost anything, found anything, or you're searching for something, call us, 785-877-3378. Now, we did get some early phone calls this morning. Um, First of all, Terry's mother's called. Um, He kind of fooled me at first. He said he was calling with a sympathy call for Sharon Smothers because it's their anniversary. 25 years. (laughs) You got me, Terry. But Terry and Sharon Smothers, 25-year anniversary. Congratulations. We also have Samantha Cook, your husband, called to wish you a happy birthday. Audrey Shirley and Kanan Shirley, sixth birthday. Uh, Ray Dreyer. And then, of course, we have Sage Stapp, Finley Fawninstill, and Cole Pearson. Those were our calls so far this morning. Keep them coming. We've got some great calls so far. Pardon me. We've got some great calls so far, and we want to keep those going on. So 785-877-3378. Now, um, I do have one reminder for you today. That is from our Norton Public Library. They want everyone to know that there is not going to be Mother Goose moments this morning. They had to cancel their Mother Goose moments this morning. But the Gameplay Learn Club for Kids is still on this afternoon from 345 to 445, where they can take their friends and learn strategy. I'm going to talk more about that in just a second. Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. Yeah, I'd like to wish Glory Jenkins a happy birthday today. Glory's birthday. Such a sweetie. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Glory. All right. So we're talking about um, Game Play Learn Club for Kids. Well, the kids can take their friends and learn strategy, sportsmanship, and so much more from board games in their STEM Steam area. And they also have PlayStation 4, Wii, Xbox 360 games to play, and I want to remind you that this is a parental contract event. You can stop into the library and pick up one of those contracts before the event and fill it out. You do need one per child per household. But it just takes a minute. It's not very it's not very hard to do. Just stop in and fill that out. You also might want to stop into the library because they're hiring for an energetic, creative, fun-loving person to be their children's acquisitions librarian. So you can check that out too. Stop in at our Norton Public Library. See all the wonderful people that work at our Norton Public Library and Game Play Learn Club for Kids from 345 to 445 today. All right, so we want to thank our sponsors for today. We want to thank Destination Kitchen, Cowpoke Supply, the Norton Chamber of Commerce, and TNC Kitchen. Thank you all so very much for sponsoring our show. It's all because of you that we get to be here. And I honestly love to be here. And I love talking about TNC Kitchen because it makes me so hungry every day. Every time I talk about TNC Kitchen and the wonderful items they have on their lunch buffet, like today, lasagna and chicken Alfredo, yummy. You need to stop in tonight for that pan-fried chicken or pork chops. And let me tell you, that pan-fried chicken goes fast because it's homemade and delicious. So don't hesitate. Get there early at TNC Kitchen for the pan-fried chicken or pork chops tonight for dinner. Today on the Lunch Buffet is lasagna and chicken Alfredo. And you know what? You never have to miss out because you can call them at 785-877-3511 and get your orders to go. And Lunch Buffets Monday through Saturdays come with an ice cream cone or an ice cream sundae. I also want to let you know that I checked out their Facebook page. And if you don't like and follow TNC Kitchen, you need to because they're really good about posting their weekly menus for their lunch buffets. And they're also good about posting their uh, pie of the week. And this week, it is Florida Key Lime Pie. Wonderful picture on there. Now, I don't know what the difference between a Florida Key Lime Pie is, but I am a huge Key Lime Pie fan. And I can say it. So Florida just adds more to it, right? 
yummy. It looks delicious. I bet it tastes even better. Stop in for a piece of Florida Key Lime Pie today at TNC Kitchen. Also stop in for lunch because on their lunch buffet today at TNC Kitchen will be lasagna and chicken Alfredo. All right, we're going to talk about the Norton Chamber of Commerce. Now, I've been warning everybody that you need to get your tickets for the banquet. If you haven't, I'm sorry. I talked to them yesterday. They are sold out for the the banquet uh, tickets. So if you didn't get your tickets, they don't have any available. But they are still selling uh, tickets for a chance to win a great trip to Lake of the Ozarks in August. That's $50 a ticket. You get a chance to win, I think it's like 14 people it covers. This is a great opportunity and a great vacation. In August at Lake of the Ozarks, oh my goodness, I couldn't think of anything better. It's only $50 for a chance for that wonderful vacation. So you can call the Norton Chamber of Commerce office at 785-877-2501 today and talk to them about getting some of those tickets. Um, Now, they do have a meeting on April 11th. They want to remind everyone about the Chamber of Commerce annual meeting will be hosted at the Eagles Building, connecting where they'll be talking about connecting and achieving their goals. Um, The commitment to be transparent is also their mission. They want you to join them for a few short presentations along with learning what their mission is. And then they'll be open to discussion for what businesses need to be doing. The meeting starts at 7 p.m. And again, that's on April the 11th. Um, the chamber memberships are due by March 1st. That's Friday. So if you haven't got those chamber memberships in yet, you need to get those in by Friday, March 1st. And they want to remind everybody also that chamber bucks, you know, we've all, I've got some, I've got to get those used. Uh, we've all got some chamber bucks that we got for Christmas presents. They make all awesome presents. Christmas presents, birthday presents, it doesn't matter. Chamber Bucks make awesome presents because you can use them at chamber businesses around Norton. But if you haven't used your Chamber Bucks, you need to check that expiration date because they do have an expiration date on them. So get them used up before they expire. You don't want them to go to waste. They're awful handy to have. So check out your Chamber Bucks and use those before they expire. Uh, Travel and Tourism's raffle, $50 for the the trip. Don't forget, 785-877-2501. And they have the Travel and Tourism Hometown Hero flags for sale. The flags will be displayed on certain holidays or during special events downtown. There are personalized flags for local veterans. They'll have their photo, name, rank, and branch on the flag. There are $100 each. And forms need to be filled out at the chamber office along with a picture, which can be a digital picture or an actual photo. It needs to be bigger than 5 by 7 though. Um, for this first round of flags, I only have 40 spots available, and but this project hopes to expand to an additional 40 flags. Um, now, there is a cutoff date. That's why I want to remind everybody again today, the cutoff date to get these flags, these first 40 flags, is this Friday, March 1st. So you want to get your, if you're thinking about this, if you have a special veteran in your life, or maybe you are a veteran, it's okay. Take your own picture down there. You deserve it. Um, you need to do that, though, by this Friday, March 1st. Again, you could call the chamber office at 785-877-2501, or you can stop in at the chamber office, because Donna loves when people come and visit her, talk to her about all these things, or if you want to volunteer to help out with events that are going on, you know, we've got lots of things going on here. We've got fair coming up. We've got uh, car shows. We've got all sorts of great events coming up. So if you want to help out with that, you can talk to Donna about that, too. 785-877-2501. Okay, it's time to talk about cowpoke supply. You know, every Tuesday when we talk about cowpoke supply, we give you a word that if you hear me say that word the rest of the show, you be the first caller at 785-877-3378. Let me know you heard me say the word, and you know what? You're going to win a gift certificate to cowpoke supply. And at Cowpoke Supply right here in Norton, they have everything you could need for any building, remodeling, painting, plumbing, or do-it-yourself project. And that includes crafts. They have a really awesome craft section with craft paints and supplies. If you're a crafty person or, hey, about two years ago, I started created my own craft room in the house and i love it and i got a lot of my supplies at cowpoke so go into cowpoke you want to create a craft room or you have a craft room you need to stock up stop in at cowpoke supply today and that is going to make my word for the day crafts or craft 
Be the first person to call 785-877-3378 when you hear me say that word, and you will be the winner of a gift certificate to Cowpoke Supply. You know, at Cowpoke Supply, you can go in and see everything they have to offer, from farm and ranch supplies to saws and drills. Cowpoke has a great selection of paint and painting supplies, nuts and bolts, nails, screws, lumber, light fixtures, coolers, large and small tools, and more. And, you know, if you can't find what you're looking for, they're very more than happy to order it for you. And special orders are always welcome at Cowpoke Supply. They are so helpful at Cowpoke Supply. When you go in, all you have to do, usually they're there. You can find somebody anywhere when you go into Cowpoke. There's always people that work there that are around. But you ask them to help you out. Boy, they really help you out. Just let the staff know what you're looking for. They'll be happy to help you with their online catalog. You can find what you need for any project that you could dream up, and it's all at Cowpoke Supply right here in Norton on East Highway 36. And remember, they are locally owned and family operated. Let's talk about Destination Kitchen. You know, I was talking earlier about that delicious cookie that we uh, draw for every day for our birthday winner. You got to see those cookies. There are big old delicious cookies, and they have those cookies and many other great things at Destination Kitchen. They have so many great items for your kitchen also and for your gift-giving needs in stock. And they have new items arriving all the time, bringing you all the new trends right here in Norton. So stop in this week for a little bit of food. They have their special brisket sandwich, and they're also having a turkey melt. And then, of course, their delicious sweet treats, their Coca-Cola cake, the banana split cake, tuxedo cupcakes. They have blueberry lemon cheesecake. And, of course, always their great selection of caramel rolls, cream cheese cinnamon rolls, and the variety of cookies. The hours at Destination Kitchen are 9 to 5.30, Monday through Fridays and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Lunch is served from 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday, with all of your favorite sandwiches, pasta, the brick oven pizza, and the salad bar. Carryout is also available during their lunch serving hours, so you can go get a taste of something very special at Destination Kitchen. They're located at 115 West Main Street in Norton. And if you want to call for an order to go, just call 785-877-2911 at Destination Kitchen. All right, well, it is time for history. History is being brought to you by Kansas Land Tire. Stop in at Kansas Land Tire for all your automobile needs and your tires. Call them today at 785-877-5181 or stop out and visit Kansas Land Tire. They're our local Goodyear dealer and they're located just east of Norton on Highway 36 just north of the viaduct. If you're a car and ag person, that's not opportunity knocking. It's opportunity banging on your door with a sledgehammer backed up by a brass band and fireworks in your front yard. The premier tire and service shop in the Midwest, Kansas Land Tire, has a management position open in their Norton store. Great benefits, great wages, great incentives, all from a family-owned business where you're not just part of a team, you're part of the family. At Kansas Land Tire, they set you up for success. So give yourself the gift of opportunity from Kansas Land Tire. Apply online at thetirestore.com or stop by the shop in Norton. All right, it's time for history. I need to craft myself a little area here where I can just click everything on here all together and would have so much paperwork. Um, history for February 27th. Good morning. Thank you for calling Party Line. Natalie, I heard you say the word craft. You did, and who is this? Ed Yader. Ed, you're such a good listener. <laughs> Does Phyllis Tell think that too? Beg pardon? Does Phyllis think that too? She's the one that told me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, she's a good listener. I should have known, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, Ed, you have a great day, and you can pick up your certificate here at KQ&K. You won a gift certificate to Cowpoke Supply. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ed. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. Such nice people. All right, your history for February 27th and the state in 1801. The city of Washington, D.C. was placed under congressional jurisdiction. In 1827, New Orleans held its first Mardi Gras celebration. In 1883, Oscar Hammerstein patented the first cigar rolling machine. In 1922, the U.S. Supreme Court upheld the 19th Amendment that guaranteed women the right to vote. In 1939, the U.S. Supreme Court outlawed sit-down strikes. In 1951, the 22nd Amendment to the U.S. Constitution was ratified, and it limited U.S. presidents to two terms. 
1973, the American Indian Movement occupied Wounded Knee in South Dakota. In 1974, People magazine was first issued by Time Life, later known as Time Warner. In 1986, the U.S. Senate approved the telecast of its debates on a trial basis. In 1990, the Exxon Corporation and Exxon Shipping were indicted on five criminal counts in reference to the 1989 Exxon Valdez oil spill. In 1991, U.S. President George H.W. Bush announced live on television that Kuwait was liberated. In 1997, in Ireland, divorce became legal. What did they do before that? Also in 1997, Don Cornelius received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh, Don Cornelius was the host of Soul Train. In 1998, Britain's House of Lords agreed to give a monarch's firstborn daughter the same claim to the throne as any firstborn son. And that was the end to 1,000 years of male preference. In 1999, Colin, Colin Prescott and Andy Elson set a new hot air balloon endurance record when they had been aloft for 233 hours and 55 minutes. The two were in the process of trying to circumnavigate the Earth. And in 2002, in Boston, 20 people working at Logan International Airport were charged with lying to get their jobs or security badges. Today's February 27th. It's National Retro Day. I feel retro every day. It's National Polar Bear Day. National Strawberry Day. I saw the most delicious-looking strawberries at Jamboree when I stopped in there the other day. Boy, did they look good. I was this close to getting some, but, oh, yeah, they look delicious. I'm going to go up there today. And it's also National Kahlua Day. Don't send me to say more about that. In music, in 1967, Pink Floyd recorded their first single, Arnold Lane. In 1970, Jefferson Airplane was fined $1,000 for using profanity during a concert in Oklahoma City. Now all the songs contain profanity. <laughs> In 1977, Keith Richards with the Rolling Stones, a uh, Toronto hotel suite was raided by Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Richards was arrested and charged with possession of heroin with the intent to traffic and possession of cocaine. He was re- released on $25,000 bail. In 1984, a Pepsi commercial featuring the Jacksons premiered on MTV. In 1990, Janet Jackson's first concert tour began in Pensacola, Florida. It was the Rhythm Nation World Tour 1990. Tickets were sold to a dress rehearsal concert on February 17th. In 1997, James Brown asked talk show hostess Rolanda White to marry him during the taping of one of her shows. She didn't marry him. In sports in 1908, Major League Baseball adopted a sacrifice fly rule for the first time. It was repealed, reinstated, and then changed several times before being permanently accepted in 1954. From 1908 to 1954, they really played with that one. In 1912, the New York Yankees announced that they would be wearing pinstripes on their uniforms. In 1963, Mickey Mantle signed a contract worth $100,000 with the New York Yankees. In 1996, the Chicago Bulls reached 50 victories in 56 games to set an NBA record. In 2001, the New Jersey Devils began a streak of 10 consecutive road wins to tie the NHL record. And in 2003, Emmett Smith became a free agent for the first time when the Dallas Cowboys released him. Happy birthday today to Josh Groban, born in 1981, the singer of You Raise Me Up. What a beautiful song. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow was born on this date in 1807, the American poet who wrote Paul Revere's Ride. John Steinbeck was born on this date in 1902, the author of The Grapes of Wrath. If you've never read The Grapes of Wrath, which most people have in school, but if you never have, make yourself do that because it's an awesome book. And today is Elizabeth Taylor's birthday. She was born in 1932, the much-married actress who starred in the movie Cleopatra. People that died on this date, Leonard Nimoy died in 2015. He was Mr. Spock on the original Star Trek. Fred Rogers died on this date in 2003. Fred was the host of children's TV series, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And Louis Vuitton died on this date in 1892. He was founder of the luxury monogrammed luggage company. All right, some celebrity birthdays from our Lions Club calendar. We're going for the glasses again because I just cannot do it without it. Those days are gone. All right, happy birthday today to Sage Stapp, Bryson Burge, Finley Fodenstill, and Kale Patterson. Those were our local celebrities. Now I'm going to... Uh, Patterson. 
Okay, I'm going to number these up. Let's see how many we got. We have eight called in today. That's just so wonderful. I love that. So I am going to put numbers one through eight in the jar. And so I could just take out ten and take out nine. There we go. And we are going to, let's see, shake this up. And see who is going to is going to see who is going to. I'm sorry, I had a text I had to look at. Get the cookie for their birthday. So let's mix them up really good and let's pull one out here. This is number seven. And number seven on my list is Sage Stapp. Happy birthday, Sage. Guess what? You are going to be getting a cookie from Destination Kitchen and United Northwest Federal Credit Union. Our calls for today, we've got a good luck from Jean in Colorado for our Lady J's tonight. So good luck, girls, playing against Southwest Heights at 6 o'clock. Uh, happy birthday to Samantha Cook from your husband, Audrey Sh- Shirley, Kanan Shirley, both six years old, Ray Dreyer, Sage Stapp, Finley Fawnenstill, Kale Patterson, and Glory Jenkins. Happy anniversary today to Terry and Sharon Smothers celebrating 25 years. I want to thank our sponsors for today. I want to thank Destination Kitchen, Cowpoke Supply, the Norton Chamber of Commerce, and TNC Kitchen. Thank you all so much for sponsoring the show. Because of you, we get to be here. I want to remind you again, one more congratulations to our Norton boys. They played against Cimarron last night. They won 50-40. to 40. They move on to Thursday against Lakin. I believe that takes place in Holcomb. The girls are playing tonight here in Norton. So if you can go down and cheer them on in person, boy, that would be just great. Because the more, the merrier, the, the more people down there cheering them on, the better it seems to go. But if you can't make it down to the game, that's okay. You can listen on KQNK AM and FM. You can also watch on Facebook Live on the Blue Jay Athletics Facebook page. That'll be tonight, the girls, 6 p.m. against Southwest Heights. Go, Lady Jays. All right. Um... I think that's about it for this morning. I hope I didn't tr- drill on too long. I tried to keep it uh, short and sweet. But Mandy's back tomorrow, so we'll have a lot of fun. We always do when Mandy's here. And um, remember, the, the station will be closing at 11 o'clock today, back at 3.30. But 11 o'clock today, so I can do some recordings. And um, be careful. The weather is supposed to change on us right around noon, start getting colder. They're talking about maybe a little snow. So keep an eye on the weather and also the wind. Uh, high fire danger season. So keep an eye on the weather. There seems to be a little bit of everything going on. And um, if you get up in the morning, there's snow on the ground, go to Can Drive, check out the road conditions because we might have a little snow and our neighbors might have a lot of snow. So if you need to be out around, I would check before you get out on the road. All right. Well, that's about it for today. I appreciate everybody listening on KQNK uh, FM 106.7 and 102.5 and AM 1530. I also appreciate everybody watching on Facebook Live this morning. Um, you know, I have a few people that uh, gave us shout outs. Reva, Benin, Jean, of course, Johnson and cousin AJ. Uh, thank you all so much for your great comments and for watching on Facebook Live. Really appreciate that. I hope everybody has a wonderful day today. I have so far, and I hope it continues that way. Retro day. If you want to pull out those old bell bottoms today, be the day to do it. In the meantime, don't forget about Mandy and I tomorrow for Party Line. Same time, same place.